this final presentation on the annual plan 2023-2024 uh, focuses on some of the things that are in the plan for the next year. So let you know what's coming up. This slide deals with the Council's Capital Works program. Um, by that, I mean its program for building new assets. So whether those are, are pipes or roads or wastewater treatment plants or buildings. Uh, so it deals with those that are being created for the first time, for instance, where there are new residential areas developing or where we are replacing assets at the in, end of their lives so and when, they, when they've worn out. So our capital program uh, for the next year is, is forecast at that 81.6 million. This is a particularly large program, larger than in recent years. And this is largely because we'll be receiving significant government funding to support a number of projects. And the, the pie chart gives you an indication of that, the size of that. This is a big program and uh, delivering it will be challenging for the council in the next, next year. Um, however, some of the government funding we're receiving is also coming with additional project managers to help us uh, have extra resource to deliver that, those extra projects. Our plans for the next year are forecast to increase our debt to 248.92 million um, by the end of June 2024. This remains just below our $250 million cap in our financial strategy. It's just worth saying that the council has a borrowing capacity of around $130 million above that $250 million cap. We tend to keep this capacity as a buffer and to be able to respond to short term events and crises. So, for instance, if we have a national a natural hazard event and the council needs to spend more in recovery, this borrowing is available to help support that. The next few slides cover some of the projects and programs we have planned for the next year. Probably not worth me sitting here and reading these out to you, but um, so this first slide deals with our, our uh, activities coming up in transport, rivers, water supply and council enterprises. And I'll just leave the slide running for a moment to give you a chance to read those. So here are some projects in the wastewater, water supply and waste management areas for the next year. And finally, some projects in our environmental management activity and for reserves and facilities. There are a couple of projects that we had planned for the 2023-24 year in the in Tasman's 10-year plan. 
which we are proposing to defer. So the first one of those is the Motueka Community Pool. Um, we had planned uh, $3 million worth of uh, capital spending in the next year. And we're deferring this because the design work is not sufficiently advanced to enable us to, to use that money. Um, at the stage still proposing to uh, continue with this project and design work will carry on, carry on over the next year and then we'll consider the level of funding and the timing those sorts of issues as part of Tasman's 10-year plan 2024-2034. The second project is the Lord Rutherford wastewater pump station um, so this again was planned for the next year um, in this case the budget's been reallocated to other projects in the same wider program to achieve a better outcome so yeah, not using the money for what we had proposed previously in the in Tasman's 10-year plan, but dealing with wider issues in that program. Thanks once again for listening to this presentation. Um, again, we encourage you to let us know your th thoughts by making a submission. Um, Shape Tasman is a great place to start that and to go and, and to start your, your submission journey. So please go and, go and have a look at that site. Alternatively, you can email us at ltp at tasman.govt.nz or drop in a hard copy submission at one of our service centres or libraries or send us a submission by mail. You can also record a video submission. So if you go to Shape Tasman, the opportunity is there to do that. Submissions close on the 30th of April, so please let us know your thoughts by then. Thanks again for listening.